Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Mascara Tanager and I am playing some Mass Effect 3. I'd say, say hi to our new specialist. How are you doing, Jan? Commander, Jan? are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down Air conditioning has been turned on. I'm so I much happier now. <gasps> Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. Aww. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. <laughs> but thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The We're gonna help the shit out of them. them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. Keep it's it home now. to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yep, he probably. He must have a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Let's help them. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Of course Edie it is! It's Cerberus. She said oh, the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, <laughs> Don't ask. whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. <laughs> He's like, Thank you, shut Commander. up, honey. <laughs> Let's go say hi to our new friend. Edie, 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 I love your face. So how you feeling, honey? Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot. God damn it, Joker. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly <laughs> think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Probably Look not. That. I would have baked a cake. I'm Why? right here, Jack. Yes, like, I'm you literally are, right here. Yes, you are. Shut up, Joker. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. It was a joke. How are you adjusting to the arms <laughs> and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Without sure, why not? There is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Shut up, Joker! Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. Maybe you should be looking forward then. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. I bet it is. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Um. Absolutely. I have yes. no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. Is that I asked good? Him if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. Because he's he good at that. He repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? Sure, why not? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. And try not Very to fail. Well. I will keep you informed. Cool. Um, Joker. Yeah, I think you must say. 
Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. He wasn't There's really angry. There yep, there is a lot of crap out there that needs a bullet between the eyes. Which reminds me, let's go take care of some things. Commander, you have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. She must be feeling better. Let's go see her! Let's go see Ash! <laughs> Meet me in purgatory. Oh, god damn it, Arya. Me a specter. Help request. Is this address valid? Thane! Omega. Oh god, that's Omega. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna talk to Arya just yet, at least not about Omega. Okay. We're going to the Citadel. Uh, meet Dr. Bryson. Not yet! <laughs> Not qu quite, quite, quite yet. Gonna wait a little while before we try the Leviathan DLC. Doc. Alliance. Normandy, we are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Hey. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Hi, Joker. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes, ma'am. Requesting docking permission. <laughs> docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? To the embassy. To, to, to the hospital, not the yes, embassy. Is it? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom. Uh, more loading screens. <laughs> I wonder if, if I could just find something to read during the loading screens. I mean, I've got Devil May Cry manual, I've got the Mass Effect manuals, I've got the manual for my blender that came in the mail yesterday. <laughs> I've got the ingredients on some deodorant, I've got a copy of Game Informer. I could just read something during the loading screens. Where is he? Yes. Fine! There he is! Come here! <clears throat> Come here, you! Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Obviously! Dang. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting uh, a friend who got hurt protecting me. Yeah, Ashley. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. Thanks, Thane. I appreciate it, Thane. Love your face. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. What about your son? I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. Yep. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Oh, Do you honey. Know how much time you have left? I was not romancing Garrus, I've been God to damn several it. Doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. Ugh. It's freeing to find no You're requirements powerful. placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. 
Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As really? My brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. And eventually you'll keel over. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. That's Perhaps good. Perhaps we'll keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. I love your face, dude. Love. Face. I love it. Uh, okay, let's go visit Ashley before I start crying. God, he's a great character. What? President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. Okay. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this uh... building, we know dead. What's going on here? Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. Okay. All I asked was what was going on here. I wasn't really supporting anybody, but let's go say hi to Ashley. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They yeah, pal, Grissom like Academy. An answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. No more than ever. <laughs> Shut up, Udina. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. As my hair I'll glitches into my pillow. Shepard. Udina, I got your email. So Made your decision yet? Shepard. On becoming a Spectre? Rex. Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. Well, either way, you're gonna decision. end up on my ship, so... Smart to give it some thought. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it... Saying yeah, you're being such a bitch! I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. So it's shut your face! Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Trust each other, or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What did you do? Oh, I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. No, it's okay. I'll Don't worry about it. Tell me. Talk. What's going on? We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I Honey! I managed to keep it all together. There's a war on. People are counting on us. And also, I, I don't have it. any family! But it's still hard Shepherd to put it all aside. Um. So what's all this lieutenant commander business? Still not as like high ranked as I am. William's curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out a gunnery chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too, until Eden Prime. Losing two twelve was. Well, <laughs> you know. Well, we're going back to Eden Prime. Ash. You did the best you could. And survive to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... 
I'll fight with honor and courage, ma'am. To shove their tentacles Roger up their ass. Else, Just see. say it, Ash. <laughs> okay. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're both professionals. We have more important things to worry about. You're still a You're bitch. Right. I'm just restless, laying here, doing nothing. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in, and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I yeah, was probably. always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. Aww. That's sweet. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. Probably. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. Yet you still I mean, were acting like maybe such this a problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. Okay. Get some I rest get on back me. to it. Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. Have fun, honey. I'm leaving now. Gone. Dum 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 de dum 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 de. Oh, can we get some more conversations? We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. And the enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of the big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Honey, Just tell me what happened at Tip Tree. We'll figure that out later because they only give you tiny bits of each conversation. Which reminds me, there was another one here. Do -do 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 -do. I really like the conversations in this game. Just the things that you can hear. Ah, just so much background they put into this game. Yes, but clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. That's not good. Poor guy! I would not want to lose my leg. Nope. Okay, let's go see what other parts of the Citadel we now have access to. We don't have access to the stuff from the Citadel DLC just yet. I think we have to go meet with the counselors first, but we're probably going to do a couple side quests, because if you do any of the, um... Some priority missions will cause a bunch of side quests to get locked out. Like, I think if you start doing um, priority to Chanka before Grissom Academy. Will you be quiet? I'm trying to talk. Um, if you try doing, I think it's priority to Chanka before doing Grissom Academy, Grissom Academy gets locked out. And you can't do it. Which means you miss out on a bunch of things. Which sucks, especially because the Grissom Academy's mission is awesome, but I just got to make sure to do that first, huh? Zoom. Loading. 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 Now arriving at board level Purgatory. can't believe you did that. They were refugees. Damn it, it's not like they had much left to start with. What? They lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artist swindles them out of what little they have left. Wow, somebody's a dick. Stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about him. Tell me about him, I'll kill him. No proof, no arrest. Guy filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do. They look like twins. What are we? A couple of mall cops? Ha! Yes. Yes, you are. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let's why are we partying? This is kind of silly. Hi, Arya. How so you doing? I admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. 
I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What can I do for you? <laughs> Arya is one powerful woman. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Why Enjoy did she do that three weeks ago when she got there? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? What happened to Omega? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. <gasps> I'll kill him, don't Cerberus worry about it. You. Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega We're back. We're not doing it yet, though. You You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The uh, way this I and? see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Yep. Won't matter where I'm sitting. Yep. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. Tell me I've more. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. It's all if they'll fight them, I'll agent take them. Who's dealing with the Blood Pack? The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. Okay. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey nope. respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Bye, Arya. I got some renegade points for that. <laughs> Anybody else here I can talk to? James! How you doing, bro? Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. Do you think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Yeah, sure uh -huh. you didn't. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. And getting drunk! Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Thanks? Probably. And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Hey! Just saying. Taken! Well, you're human. Just like me. By a Turian. <laughs> but not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Yes. Maybe. Then buy them around. Let's do it! I like the way you think, Lieutenant. So I've got enough gold. Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Go! Uh. Damn few. Yeah! And they're all dead. Oh. <laughs> they're all dead? Wow. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. <laughs> Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. 
Cheers. Cheers. Alcohol! Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Am I drunk? I am not drunk! Darn it! I wanted to be drunk. Wait, I know what we need to do. I know what needs to happen! Okay, I'm done. Whoa! Hi there, sorry lady. I am taken. We're going this way now. <laughs> okay, now after that, where are we going next? Wait, we've got another part of the area of the Citadel to look over and, and stuff and things. Hopefully we can find some of our team members there and talk to them, because I think there's certain Asari we need to have a discussion with. No. I'm not going to Brayson's lab yet! You can't make me! Welcome, Commander Shepard. Um, Please select a destination. Commons. I think the commons is where we want to go next. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Takes too long to load. Now arriving at Cut. Presidium Commons. Or a fresh spreadable alternative. So, you want to as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, okay. And Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired. I. You'll get friends, killed. But we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. No. Um, thanks? Who was that? Shepard! The first human specter. Wow. How you doing? Commander Shepard? <laughs> yeah, and it's good advice. Let's I'm famous. <laughs> Overcharging for goods. <laughs> Denying refugees. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. <laughs> That's what I need. What's happening? Buying it. Okay, now let's go see if we can find some fish for my aquarium, because my priorities are awesome. I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vids, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. Ah, oh, I smell a dear John letter coming! If we switch from financial PI to military PI, who cares about the blood? Haven't you heard the news? Um. You're not who I'm looking for. Is that Liara? Hey, Lee, how you doing? Are Still you working? working? <laughs> Honey. One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. Nope, never. Not happening. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And now it's back to normal! And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Good to know. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. Call your know, tits, Liara. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Cool! Thanks. She is not very good at t has taking a chill pill, is she? Let's find some more shops. 
Hey, Edie, how you doing, honey? Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? <laughs> that kind of thing? Shut up, me! I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. Oh, really? I believe he has a strong, affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. So he loves your face. You have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Hey, hey! Uh... uh they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. This is kind of a special situation because one of you is a robot. Wants, other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. Honey, well, that's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional <laughs> state. Damn it, woman! <laughs> No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Uh... Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown. God, quantity, I love these two. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Yes. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I, I would know. I'm dating a Turian. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. No, that's too adorable. Welcome so freaking adorable, man. Weaponry. Can I get a discount? Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. It Neither should you. Balls. Welcome to okay, fine. Fabrication weaponry. I want this. My priorities, Thank you for they are too strong. How you doing, Joker? Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news, the Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a also, big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. <laughs> yeah! These people have no idea. Sometimes I think this whole Citadel is a mistake. What do you mean? Well, it's out here in the middle of nowhere. Defensible, safe. Remember how everyone ignored the Geth threat until Saren's attack? Yep. Well, let's hope and then ignored the Reapers. I don't know if we'll be able to save their asses again. <sighs> nope. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally that getting helps. some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Now that she actually can take shore leave. Even though she's probably running all kinds of system Welcome stuff on the Normandy already. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian. Welcome Being to an air would be helpful. Goods. Do you have fish? You don't have any fish. You have a model citadel though, that'll work. Oh, you're bonded with the Terrian. I'm afraid I can't help you. But, <sighs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, or store credits, or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but your manager said you could give me a refund. Look, he is not going to oh leave. Oh boy, okay. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Let's just do it. I work retail and I know how... Yes. Assholish people can Thank be sometimes. I just want Welcome some fish. We appreciate your visit. For fuck's sake, where's the fish? Oh, I've gone over time. Anyway, my name is Miss Greta Tinger, and I have been playing some Mass Effect 3. I'll see you all in the next episode.